Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Faye Grove, I'm a Master Pilates instructor as well as a Franklin Method Level 3 educator. Um, today we're going to do a math class, intermediate slash advanced. So modify if you need to, skip or exercise if you need to. It's your body, it's your workout. You know your body, I'm not with you. So do what is best for you. But I hope you enjoy. So let's start with a standing warm up. You're going to step back with one leg and bend the front knee. Then return. Step back with the second one and return. Nice first. Make sure you're breathing. You should also be smiling just because it feels better, right? When you smile, everything's better. Just three more each. For now, hold one, and one, nice, and then two, two, last one on each, just warming up, last one now. We're going to step to the side and bend knees, that right bend both knees, and now return, step in both knees. So now your legs are rotated out slightly, bend both knees, just three more now, and then two, and last one. Now you're going to step left and bend both knees. And now we turn step left and bend both knees. Nice. Just three more now. And two. And last one. Nice. Now turn so you have the mat behind you. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, you're going to roll down your spine. Your feet are parallel legs are parallel. When you get to the bottom here, inhale and then exhale slowly roll up. Nice, inhale, arms up again. And then exhale as you roll down. Inhale the bottom and exhale roll up. Last one, inhale, arms up, exhale roll down. Put your hands on the mat, step back with your right foot, bend your right knee and put your right knee down. Step back with your left and put your left knee down. Nice. You're going to go with your pelvis to the right look, and then look at your right pelvis and then back to center. Pelvis to the left, back to center. This is called tail wag. Going left, back to center, going right, back to center and then left. One more each. Last one. Nice. Now round your spine and look inside of you. When you exhale, making a rainbow of your spine and inhale, you're going to extend the spine and open the shoulders and then look forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Nice. You flex your spine when you exhale. And you inhale, extend. Last one. And then extend. Swing your uh, legs out to the side and sit back. Keep your knees stand and feet flat. And then exhale as you roll down. Go all the way down until your head is on the mat. You're going to do um, snow, um, angels in snow. So uh, I'm going to lift my right arm overhead. And then I'm going to up, lift the left as you lower the right. And then switch as if you're doing snow angels or sand beach angels. Whatever you prefer, right? Switch again. And one more each. And we're going to add a twist of the knees, the pelvis too, okay? So put your feet together. Now, both legs are going to go right as I lift my left arm overhead. So the legs go in the opposite direction, right? And I'll switch. And feel that stretch and switch. Nice, lowering my um, legs to the left as I lift the right arm overhead. And switching arms and legs. Just one more each, enjoy the stretch. Last one, right up, and then legs to the left. Nice, now 
them back to center of the legs. Entwist the fingers behind the neck. Make sure your feet are parallel. Hip distance apart. Now, when your elbows light, not touching the mat, so slightly higher than the floor, your hands on the floor behind your, um, your head. You're going to tilt the head just a little, and then you're going to lower your lower ribs to the mat to lift your chest and the chest lift. And now uh, lower. Nice. Exhale, do the chest lift by lowering the ribs. Then return. Exhale up. Inhale, return. Just four more. And exhale as you come up with your neck, relax. Shoulders open. And add that smile. Last one. <laughs> Hold up. Put your right leg in tabletop. Put your left leg in tabletop. Nice. Bring the legs both to you. Bring your hands close to your feet. As you inhale, you're going to go to double leg stretch. You're going to extend your legs in a diagonal forward, your arms overhead. And now return. Inhale. Your chest is lifted the whole time. Just three more. And then two. Last one. Nice. Keep your right knee to your chest and extend your left leg diagonally. Put your left hand on your right knee and your right hand on your right ankle. Nice. And now lift up, look to your pelvis. Nice. Let's like switch legs, you'll switch the hands. I can switch legs and switch the hands. One more time in this uh, face. And then we're going to pick up the face. So I inhale and I exhale. Nice. Alternate with the legs. Just three more. I'm talking about breath. Last one. Breath and hold with your right bend, your left straight. Interlace your fingers behind the neck and rotate your torso to your bent leg, which is my right. No? I'm thinking about my left armpit going to my right inner thigh and I'm going to switch legs in the torso. And switch. Nice. Now picking up the pace for one inhale. Exhale, inhale, right, left, exhale, right, left. Two more breath. Last one. Nice. Bend it into your chest, lower your chest, bring your knees in, and now feet down, parallel. Keep distance apart. Put, put your arms long along the body. Open the shoulders. Make sure you have nothing under your head. And you're going to do a bridge, a shoulder bridge. So let's tilt the pelvis first by and flatten the back. And then you're going to start lifting your pelvis off the mat, reaching your knees over your toenails and opening the shoulders. Inhale at the top with your hip open. Exhale, you're going to lower your breastbone and then lower your ribs. Keep your neck relaxed. Lower your lower back and then lower your pelvis. Nice. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, press all four corners of your feet down. Keep weighting all four corners of your feet as you lift your pelvis, articulating your spine up. Nice, neck is relaxed. Inhale at the top. Exhale, articulate your spine down with your shoulders open. Your neck relaxed. And now put your pelvis down. Just three more like that. Tilt your pelvis, flatten the spine. Then start lifting the pelvis. Feel the power of your glutes and hamstring. Nice, hip is open at the top. Knees are reaching forward over the toes. Inhale and exhale, articulate down. Last one. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, tilt your pelvis, start articulating the spine up, peeling your vertebrae off the mat, opening the hip, 
Knees are parallel to each other. Inhale to the top. Exhale slowly lower your spine. Nice. Now I'm going to roll to the side. So I'm rolling to my right side. My right side will be down on the mat. I'm bending my right elbow and putting my right arm under the head. And both legs are bending in front of me and feet are together. The pelvis is stacked on top of each other. And in this exercise, if you have a wall that you can go against, that will be helpful because you don't want to move back with your pelvis, okay? Uh, reach the top pelvis toward your heel. So you create a little space between your last rib and the mat as opposed to collapsing down to the mat. Now, with your hand on your top pelvis, just to check to see if you're rolling back, you're going to lift the top knee, keeping your heels together. This is a clam shell, and then lower with control. Nice, lift, control as you lower. As you lift the top knee, think about the top pelvis going forward instead of backwards and slowly low, just to keep them stack. Slowly low, just four more with smile. If you don't smile, it doesn't count. <laughs> and then three. Nice, keep breathing. And two. Last one, you're going to hold up, hold for four, three, two, one, slowly lower. Two more holding, okay? Come up, hold, four, three, two, one, control as you lower. Last one, up, hold, four, three, two, one, slowly lower. Nice, let's do the other side. I'm turning this way so you can still see me. Knees are bent. Feet are stacked uh, in line with my sit bone. I have the left arm bent uh, under my head, my right hand on the right pelvis, on the right hip bone here, right, this big, this big bone. And I'm going to try to keep the pelvis stacked as I just lift the top knee, the right knee up to the ceiling, slowly lower. Nice, lift it up and control as a lower. Again, left. And there's no right breath here. You just have to keep breathing deeply. Try to release any tension that you have on the body. You just want to target the area that you're working on as opposed to holding on in other areas. You know, tension is the enemy of movement, right? So just two more. If you want to move, you have to let go. Last one. Now go up and hold for four, three, two, one. Control as you lower. Up, hold, four, three, two, one. It's slowly lower. Last one. Up, hold, four, three, two, one. And then lower control. Nice. Now roll to your belly. And you're going to put your hands like a like a triangle over your head and your forearms down. So you have like a diamond in a way with your arms and then a um, diamond with your fingers too. Overhead and your fore, uh, forehead is down. You're going to press, uh, no, first slide your shoulders down the back. Press your forearm down and think about lifting your sternum to your hand. And then lower. Slide your shoulder blades down the back. Press your forearms down and into your sternum, and the sternum into your forearms, as if they want to meet, as if you want to make the space on the mat smaller. And now return. Nice. Let's inhale as you come up from the next side. Slide your shoulders down the back. Inhale up. Exhale, return. Slightly slide the shoulder blades down the back. Lift the stone to the hands. As you inhale, 
and exhale, lower, last one, inhale as you come up, we're going to hold up, extend your right arm to the side, and then put it back down where it was, extend your left arm to the side, put it back down, lower the sternum, nice, inhale, open the shoulder in the front, sliding the, the shoulder blades down the back, and lift the sternum, nice, Extend your left arm to the side this time. Then put it back down. Then keep breathing. Go with your right. And put it down. Now lower your spine. The last one, we're going to lift both arms. Okay, slide the shoulders down the back. Lift the sternum. Nice. Keep breathing as you extend both arms out. And then put your hands down. Then lower the chest. Bring your elbow closer to your waist and your hand a um, little more forward than your shoulders. And then open the shoulders and then lift your stomach. And bring your elbows in a little bit. Now your elbows will be under the shoulder if possible. Like I said, modify if you need to, skip if you need to. You can go more forward if that's too much extension for you. We're going to do single leg kick. Okay, I'm going to flex the right foot, bend your right knee, and kick the heel to you for two times. One, two, and then extend. Now with your left, flex, kick, kick, and extend the leg. Kick, kick, extend. I'm working with my hamstrings and glutes to kick, and I have my um, stability on my, on my core um, that is helping me keeping a length and I'm not collapsing on my lower back. If you feel they're collapsing in your lower back, you might need to lower yourself a little bit. And you also need a little bit more core engagement throughout the exercise to stabilize it. So now let's do it in a faster pace. I'm going to kick kick with my right and then I'm going to switch and switch. Nice. And then I'm going to do an inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, exhale, nice, and then I'm going to lower my chest, reach the arm overhead, lift the right arm and the left leg, and then I'm going to switch and switch. And then I'm going to lift my chest just a little bit. So I'm hovering the mat, and I'm going to do a faster swimming. Keep breathing. Just four more breaths. And then three, two. Make sure you're kicking with your legs, two. Last one. Nice, put your hands under your shoulders, press yourself up to go to child's pose, which is a favor of a lot of, a lot of us, right? <sighs> that does feel good. <laughs> now I'm going back to all fours. I'm going to extend my right leg back, tuck the toes under, and then I'm going to turn the pelvis to the right, so for you and put the right foot down flat. Then the left, the right arm also, sorry, uh, off the mat and extend overhead. Nice. Then I'm going to lift the right leg until it's parallel to the floor. This is a kneeling leg kick. Okay, I'm going to kick the right leg forward, point and go back. Kick forward, point back. Kick, kick. I'm trying to keep my torso as stable as possible, but of course there's a little movement in it. I'm extending and feeling the stretch as you go forward, and then the stretch in the front as you go, I go back. Stretch in the back of the leg, stretch in the front of the leg. Inhale, hold, exhale back, last two, last one. Nice, and then, Let's do the other side. I'm going to turn 
this way so you can see me, but for you it would be an easier turn, right? Extend the left leg back. Then I'm going to rotate the pelvis to the left. Lift the left arm overhead. So you're in a side kneeling position. Lift the left leg. Oops, this open. Lift the left leg and two spirals to the floor. Bring your left hand to the pelvis. Flex the left hip and the left foot. Go forward the left leg. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Point and go back. Flex forward, point back. So I inhale forward. Exhale back. Harder to balance for me on this side. Just three more. Last one. Perfect. Nice. Now I'm going to be with my left side of the pelvis down on the mat. And um, my left leg is going to be bent on, in front, the right bend on right next to it in a Z-seat position. I'm going to inhale, side bend to the right, lifting the left arm overhead, and then exhale, back up. Inhale, side bend to the right, exhale up, one more. This is the mermaid. Let's go on the other side. We're preparing for the seated twist. Inhale, side bend. Exhale, return. Inhale, side bend. Exhale, return. Last one. And I will go back to having my left side down. The top leg, which is my right, has the inside of the foot against the mat down and the bottom leg has the outside of the foot against the mat the hand is down on the mat the left hand open and i'm going to exhale lift my pelvis up to the sky as i twist down to the floor and reach the right arm on the knee and then i will return and again crack, crack something here i don't know if you heard i'm going to lift the, the pelvis up And again, I'm pivoting on my shoulder, on my hip. Just three more now. And then two. Last one. Nice, let's do the other side. The top leg, which is now the left, is in the front with the inside of the foot down, the outside of my right foot is down against the mat, right hand is down, open the right shoulder, and you exhale, lift your pelvis up to the sky, and twist your pelvis to the floor, left arm go under your torso, and turn, nice, exhale, inhale as you return, again, exhale up, this is a lot of shoulder dynamic stability, some flexibility is required too for that, just three more now. And last one. Nice. Now lie down on your belly again. You're going to bend the knees, both of them, and hold your feet with your hands. You're going to do rocking. Okay. Now I'm going to press against my hand with my feet, my feet, and lift the torso as I inhale and exhale lower. Again, press against the, the feet, press against the hand of the feet, and lift the torso, open the shoulders. Now low. Three more like this. Inhale up, exhale low. Open the front of the hip as you inhale, come up, exhale low. Last one, inhale up, hold up, and now here, you're going to try to rock back and forth, and you're not rocking with your head, but you're rocking with your powerhouse with your torso. The temptation is to do the head. Just three more rocking, not rocking very much, I'm kind of tight. And two, and last one. Nice, straighten the legs, bring your hands under your shoulders. And again, let's go to child's pose. 
Then you're going to tuck your toes under and go to a plank position. So um, go, shift your pelvis forward, straighten the legs. Now let's bend the elbows for push up. And now extend. Bend again. Extend just five more. Four. Just three more now. And now two. Last one. Nice. Lift your pelvis up to the sky and walk your hands to your feet. Ah. Inhale right here at the bottom. Bend the knees a little bit and exhale. Slowly roll up. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, so roll down your spine. You can bend the knees if you need to. Inhale. And exhale, slowly roll up. And thank you for working out with me. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. Um, hopefully in the same room, right? Let's, um, we should be reunited, hopefully, sooner than later. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>